Hello, everybody. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to carry on on this thing that is called learning English. Thank you. As you may know, today we're going to have our class number 15. Thank you so much, y'all, for being here. Just give me a minute while I get the presentation for you. Yes, so we're going to start working on this one. Yep. Don't forget also that you got to finish the exercise that you have available on the platform. Yes. Yes, in the platform, you know, exercises that you got to finish that by tomorrow. Yes, early. Yeah. And if you have a question about some exercises, you can tell me anytime so I can help you out with that. Yep. Okie dokie. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. We are going to have a beautiful topic today. Yeah. Which is going to have, it's not a piece of cake. It's going to have difficult. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Here we go. Yep. We're going to have our class number 15. Yes. Which is uh, this one. Section number five. Five. Tell me about your family. Present continuous. Versus um, the present simple. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have these two. Let's say tenses. Um, these ones are not a piece of cake for you. Yeah. The present continuous maybe. The ones that we were working yesterday. But the present simple is not a one. A, a easy thing, right? Moises. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. What about you? I am well. Nice to hear that. Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. What is present continuous? Um, it's when we use uh, ING. Exactly. That is correct. Very good. Thank you so much. Roxana, what else can you add about this? Um, present continuous tense. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Uh, what can else? You... What else can you tell me about present continuous? Because, because um, uh, Moises told me that present continuous is when we use ing. Yeah, and he's right. But what else okay. you can tell me about it? Okay, the the present continuous is the thing we do right now. Exactly, very good. Yeah, present continuous goes related to the things that we are doing right now at the time. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Now tell me please, but say that, what are you doing? I learning English. <laughs> Beautiful, thank you so much. Very good, and present simple. What is present simple, Karen Stephanie Carvajal Rivas? Action habitual. Exactly. Very good, right? Habits. Yes. Yesterday, Roxana asked about it, right? Yes. Yeah, so, very good. Thank you so much for paying attention, okay, on this one. Yeah, because that's an important thing to remember, right? When do we use this one? So we're going to have the difference between these two today. Okay. We're going to have this conversation. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look at the picture. Okay. What is uh, Judith? Hello, Judith. Good evening. Hello. Thank Good. you so much. Ju Judith, look at the picture. Tell me, what do you see in the picture? Um... Repeat, please. What do you see in the picture? Uh, a Marcos. Okay, okay. And who else? Quien más? Who else? Uh -huh. Judith, excuse me. Uh, no entiendo, perdón. Oh, ¿Quién más? No problem, no problem. ¿Quién más? This is Marcos, right? But ¿Quién más? Ah, Marcos y Meili. 
and Meili. What are they doing? Are they are they eating pupusas? Are they having a tea? Are they washing the dishes? Um, they are drinking coffee. Maybe. Very good. Thank you, Luis. They are drinking coffee, right? Yes. Are they are they students? Are they co-workers? Are they related? What do you think? Hector. Hello, Hector. Good evening. Nice to have you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. What do you think about these two? Are they related? Uh, are uh, they relatives? Are they friends? Están teniendo una cita? Oh, they, they are having a date? Probably, right? And where are they, Hector? Where are they, Hector? No, no, se dice. Are they in a library? Are they in a restaurant? Are they in a church? Where are they? Restaurant. Probably it is a restaurant, right? That is correct. So I'm going to play the audio for this conversation. I want you to listen the conversation. Pay close attention to the vocabulary and pronunciation. So then we can practice all together. Let's listen and watch. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcos talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. I'm an only child. How many brothers? Big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great. Because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answer. Okay, se ve como pixelada, right? Oh, Jesus, my eyes. Give me a minute, please. Let me see if I can fix that because my eyes are like not good. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay, give me a minute, please. I'm sorry. I just need to, I'm trying to fix this one because of the, the conversation doesn't look like quite well let's say yeah so i need to fix it really quick because i don't like it the way it looks like and with something i don't like okay okay let's see if we can see it better oh i think it's better let me see um okay 
not really. Yeah, sorry about it. Let me see. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. Give me a minute, please. Sorry. Yeah. No. Sorry. It's the it's like it's the whole thing. It doesn't it doesn't allow me to like to fix it. I don't know why. But let's see if this is better. Just give me a minute so I can write. I need to add a dark a dark background so we can see it better. Okay. That is the thing I'm gonna do now. Okay. Let's see. That looks. Oh, Jesus, no. No. Oh, okay. I think that's better. Sorry about it. Okay. Um. Here we go. Okay. So there is a question. You see, it's, it's quite the same. I don't know why. I apologize. Okay. So uh, we have a question here. Do you come from a big family? Uh, that is the question that I heard that is quite good, that I love it. Uh, this one. Do you come from a big family? Yeah, family. Do you understand the question? This one here in red. Do you come from a big family? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay Brenda. Do you come from a big family, Brenda? Um, no entiendo muy bien la pregunta, pero oh, yo Jesus. tengo una familia grande. Oh, exactly, right? That is correct. Come. I'm oh, sorry, I forgot. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Brenda, that is correct. <clears throat> yes. Yes, my family is big. Oh, okay. Very good. Yes. Thank you so much. Very good. What is this conversation about, lady? What is this conversation about? Yes, let's go check nice and clear. What is this conversation about? The que se trata this conversation? Um, um, de la familia, de que tan grande o que tan pequeña es la familia. Oh, very good. What about you, lady? Do you come from a big family? Um, no, it's small. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, so we're going to have this conversation between these two. Meli and Marcos, I need you to save the conversation. Take a screenshot, please. Take a screenshot of this conversation. And please send the conversation on, on, on WhatsApp group so we can have it. Yes, yes. Send the conversation on WhatsApp group, uh, please. And I'm going to open the breakout rooms. What are you going to do is you need to practice. Before we get into the breakout rooms, do you have a question about vocabulary or pronunciation? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de vocabulary or pronunciation here? Everything is perfect? How many brothers and sisters do you have? Sandra? I don't understand nowadays. Oh, nowadays se refiere a nowadays. hoy en día, right? Nowadays. Nowadays se refiere a hoy en día. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nowadays. What is that one? Oh, Jesus, I don't find it. I don't know. Oh, here one. Nowadays. Mira, I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in El Salvador? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great. 
because you can get lots of birthday present. Is that correct? Is that correct? Uh huh. What the, <laughs> What is your opinion about big families? Uh, uh huh. What is your opinion about big families? Anybody? I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> A cada rato se tiene que estar dando regalo porque a cada rato cumple un año. Oh, Jesus, that is true. That is true, right? Yeah, that is true. You need to buy a lot of presents. Though it's like, and there is always a month. Siempre hay un mes que varios cumplen, right? Yeah, it's like, like three or four. And you're like, Jesus Christ, okay? A lot of presents. At Dollar City, right? Everybody goes to Dollar City <laughs> to get some chocolates, yes, and stuff like that. Because everything is expensive, right? I mean, everything is expensive, right? <laughs> so that is a good thing. Thank you so much. Okay, fabulous break room so you can join your partners and practice. Remember, practice, practice. Listen your classmates, right? with pronunciation, the way they pronounce this one. So you can um, learn a little bit of that one. En la sala principal, main room, Elizabeth, Jasmine, Griselda, Sarai, Ingrid, Stephanie, and Judith. You four stay here in the main room. Los demás, please join the breakout rooms and practice with your partners. Yes, there you go. Please, Sandra and Roxana. Please, Sandra, join. Thank you. Oh, Sandra, you, you got to stay here, right, Sandra? Oh, Sandra. So, Roxana, please stay here in the main. <laughs> okay. Usted no puede ingresar, right, Sandra? O corríjame. Let me know. Sandra, hello. I think she's, she's gone. Okay. Yes, no, Sandra, she's not, she's not, okay. Okay, Sandra, do you hear me? Sandra Marixa, do you hear me nice and clear? Hello, Sandra? No? Okay. Now let me get, let me get Roxana. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry, Roxana. I'm sorry, Roxana. Get back, because Sandra is in, in the in the um uh in the run. Yeah, can you get back to the the breakout room? Yes or no? Your microphone is off. Roxana, your microphone. Okay. <laughs> uh, puede regresar a your a, a your a room six. Eh, no, déjeme ver, teacher. Abandonar aquí. No, no. No puedo, teacher. Ok, la voy a mover al number one y luego al six. Yes. Ok. Perfect. Gracias. Ahora. Y le doy unirse ahí. Ajá, y luego yo la muevo al, al, al six. No problem. Ok. Perfect. Gracias. Okay, Judith. Hola, hi. Thank you. And Elizabeth Jasmine. Hello. Thank you. Okay, let's practice, please, the conversation. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have mainly? Actually, I am um only shield. Really? Yeah, my family in China have only own shield. No way. I I did not don't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. 
Wow, is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot, a lot of families are smiled this day, days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, lady. Hello, lady. Can you participate? And Griselda. Okay. Hello, Griselda Hello. Sarai. Thank you. Please Hello. go ahead. How many brothers and sisters do you have mainly? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child. No, not one. No. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I had three brothers and two sisters. How? Oh. Well, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are small. This day, but big families are great because you have lots of birthday presents. Very good. Thank you so much. Great of you. Thank you so much. We have nowadays China, right? China. Only child. Only child. What is the meaning of only child? Exactly. Very good, lady. Just one, right? One child. Very good. Jessica. Hello, Jessica. Good evening. Germán, Ulises Pinto. Hello. You and Jessica, please. Ready? Let's begin. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Maybe? Actuality in I and all in children. Really? Yeah, most family is China house only one children, no wife. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot uh, of families are smaller this day, but big family are great because you get lots of better presents. Thank you so much. Very good. Yes. So this is about talking about your family, right? How big is your family? Yes. Do you come from a big family or a small family? Yes. Uh, is is it is a good? Is it good to to have a big family or is it not good to have a big one? And yeah. Sometimes, as your classmates were saying, it is not good because you need to buy a lot of presents, right? But what about when you want to do, I don't know, a party, right? That's that's quite good, I guess, right? So this is, okay. Your classmates are, are getting in. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Thank you so much. What is the meaning of an only child, Karen and Stephanie? Only child, what is that? Hey, yes, very good. That is correct. Yeah. China, only child. Typical. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Uh, birthday presents. Thank you so much. Very good. Areli, Janet, Cornejo, you are Marcos, Betseida, you are Meli. What I need you to do, cuando mencionen el name, usted le va a decir, 
Bet, ¿Cuál le gusta? Yasmina o Betseira? Bexaita, el que le salga más fácil, Arel. No, no todos me gustan. Ah, ok. Ah, ok, muy bien. Arely, your microphone, your microphone, Arely, your microphone. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Big side. <laughs> Actually, I only shy. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Arely? I come from a big family. I had three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of families are smart these days, but big but families are great because you have lots of birthday presents. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. Okay, Moises. Thank you so much, Moises. And lady. Thank you, lady. Use your names, please. Thank you so much. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, lady? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child. No that way. I didn't know that. What about you, Moises? I I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. It's that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you you get lots of birthday presents. Thank you so much. Very good. Karen and Stephanie, thank you so much. And Rosanna, go ahead. And how many brothers and sisters do you have, Roxana? Really? I didn't know that. I come from a big family. I have two brothers and two sisters. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Sandra. Hello, Hello, Sandra. And Brenda. Go ahead, please. How many <clears throat> brother and sister do you have mainly? Actually, I am only shy. Really? Yeah. Really? Most. Yeah. Most families in China had only one child, no worries. I didn't know they. What no about doubt. you? What about you? Um... <laughs> what is another? Marcos. No se equivocamos. <risa> es que no recordaba el nombre de ella, por eso. Sandra. Me marco Sandra. Ay, Sandra. <risa> ok, ok. Uh, what about you, Sandra? I come, I come from, I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of families are smaller. They die, but big families are great because you had lost birthday present. 
Very good. Thank you so much. Very good, Sandra. I have a few mistakes, but you're doing it very good. Thank you so much. Let me see. Ana Guevara and Silvia Vexali Manzanares Rivas. Okay. Silvia? Can you please... <laughs> Hello, Silvia. Okay, Erika. Erika Lisset. Hi. Thank you. Anna, you begin, please. Use your names. How many brothers and sisters do you have? ¿Cómo se me dijo que se llama? Erika. <laughs> Perdón, Erika. Actually, I am only child. Oh, really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Anna? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? No. Really, a lot of family are small. Three, da three days, but Big families are great because you you get lots of big birdas present. Thank you so much. A smaller, smaller, it's, very good. It's smaller, it's smaller. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Very good. Juan and Luis, thank you. Juan and Luis, use your names, please. Hello, mm -hmm. Juan. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Just let me check is if one is available. <clears throat> okay. No. Okay. Hector, please, can you help us? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Can you me to carry? Oh, will you? Oh, with this, just there. give me a minute because I lost him. I lost him. Okay, with Luis. Luis, you are Marcos. Don't forget to use your names. Okay. Okay. Please. Hello, Hector. How are you? Hello. Can you repeat, please? Eh, tú serías Marco y yo sería Meli, pero sí, sí, sí. Tu nombre. Entonces sí, te sí. empieza. Okay. Sí, estaba medio como saludado. Pero... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hello, Hector. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Eh, Actually, I'm only shy. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. Uh, what about you, Luis? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Birthday, birthday presents. Very good, beautiful. Okay, let me take the attendance really quick. I'm sorry. Um, when you hear your name, say please, I know I'm here. Yes. Don't forget also uh, los ejercicios de la plataforma, right? Um, those are for tomorrow early, I guess. Yeah, so please have them ready. And if you have a question, let me know. Ana Maria Emily Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Adelie Janeth Cornejo Rivas. Thank you. But say that Jasmine Berrios Menjibar. I'm here. Así se pronuncia, right? Betsaida Jasmine Berrios Menjibar. Let's say, okay, thank you so much. Brenda <laughs> Cecilia Mejia Ayala. Present. Thank you. Cynthia Rachel Bonilla Valiente. Cynthia. No, she isn't. What about Elizabeth Jasmine Caña Salvarenga? Present. Thank you so much. Erika Lisset Garcia Costa. Present. Thank you so much. 
Germán Ulises Pinto Sánchez. Present. Good evening, nice to have you. Griselda Saray Lara Menjiva. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Héctor Enrique Guzmán Alvarado. I'm here. Nice to have you, good evening. Ingrid Stephanie Sosa Deras. Present. Good evening, nice to have you. Jacqueline Andrea Orellana Galdames. Jacqueline Andrea Orellana Galdames. No, she isn't. Jessica Maria Molina de Olmedo. Present, teacher. Nice to have you. Juan Carlos Escobar Valle. Present, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Uh, Judith del Carmen Alfaro Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Nice to have you. Karen Stephanie Carvajal Rivas. Present. Welcome. Lady Evelyn Guerrero Perez. Present, teacher. Nice to have you. Luis Ernesto García Fuentes. Present teacher. Welcome, Moises Elias Martínez Flores. Present. Nice to have you, Roxana Yanira de La Paz Artola de Funes. Thank you, Sandra Marixa Violantes de Arevalo. Present. Nice to have you, Silvia Bexali Manzanares Rivas. Yancy Estefanía Alvarado de Escalante. I'm here. Thank you. And Jessica del Carmen Rivas Sandino. Okay. Just Sylvia. Are you here, Sylvia? Just let me double check because I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Sil oh, yes. Yeah. Sylvia is here, right? Okay. Thank you so much. Also, Roxana, I got you here. So, no problem. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's get back to this one. As you may know, the topic for today is about this difference between... um. The simple present and present continuous, right? Here on the screen, as you may know, we have some examples. Look at the picture, Brenda, and describe it. What do you see here in this picture? Um, I look in the picture. Uh, he watching the television. Um, Tell me the objects probably... that you see in the picture, please. Probably uh, he is a uh, how do you say descansar? Oh, resting. Resting. Okay. What is resting. the name of this object, Brenda? Guitar. What is the name of this object here? Um, I don't know. Karen, what is the name of this object, Karen? This one. I don't know. That's okay, no problem. Moise, <laughs> Moises, can you help her, please? The the picture? Yeah, yeah, the, but specifically this one here. What is the name of this object? Um, una pintura, right? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. No. Uh -huh. Sandra. Tell me, what is this one? Hello. What is this no, one? It's a plant. plant. It, exactly. Very good, Sandra. It's, it's a plant. It is a plant. Very good. Thank you so much. Brenda, continue, Brenda. What is the name of this object here? This is a sofa. Oh, it's a sofa? Okay. What do you think about it, Karen? Is this a sofa? Excuse me? Is this a sofa, this one? Um, no, yes, that is right. It's not a sofa, right? Lady, what is the name of this object? Sofa? No, this is smaller. Okay, a sofa is bigger than this one. Ah, okay. okay. So, Roxana, what is the name of this one? Oh, okay. That's okay. No problem. We will help you. Okay, Arely, help us. Chair, me pegué un bajón. Se me fue, me fui del aire. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Judith, can you help us, Judith? Sandra, Griselda, Ingrid, Cow. Excuse me. 
Ancho. Oh, yes, very good. Este object que está acá. Es un couch, creo que es. Alguien dijo por ahí arm. Arm chair. Couch. Chair, very good. Silla. Pero chair que no es silla. Yes, exactly. Pero va a ser un sillón, right? Individual. Ah, no, okay. no, it's not a couch. It's not a couch. Because the couch is big one. Uh -huh. Este es un sofa, pero es un personal. Es un para una persona, right? Entonces se le llamamos uh -huh. armchair. Yes. Uh, armchair. Thank you so much. Brenda, what is this product, Brenda? DVD. Oh, very good. <laughs> what is the name of this one? Television, TV. Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. As you may see, here we have some examples, right? Where we describe the actions related to the picture. Yes. If you see here, right, you have some actions that are telling us what are we doing. Jessica. Hello, Jessica Molina. No. Okay. Elizabeth Jasmine Cañas. Hello, yes. Elizabeth. Thank you. Please read the examples, Elizabeth. Jean is. Jean is watching television. Continue. He is not playing the guitar. Very good. But. But he has a guitar. Yes. He plays uh, if often and he plays very well. Very good. Continue. Jean. Jean plays the guitar, but he's not playing the guitar now. Thank you. Continue. Is he playing the guitar? Does he play the guitar? Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. So if you notice, here we have the context. And as your classmates were saying, the present simple is about a habit. Something that he does, right? We have often here. Yes. So he plays the guitar often, right? And the present continuous is something that this person is doing at the moment. Okay. This is uh, well, the grammar part related to this one. Okay. Here we have more information about it. The present continuous, as you may see here, is I am doing now at the time of speaking. So I am doing. Please do me a favor, Moises, and read the examples. This one. Thank you so much. Please be quiet. I am working. Tom is talking shower right now. Digo lo demás. De yes, continue. No some takes. Yeah, not this one. Take an umbrella. Uh -huh. you can, yeah. Take an umbrella with you. It's raining. You can turn off the television. I am not watching it. Why are you under the table? What are you doing? Very good. Thank you so much. Right? So if you notice, the actions were, are happening at the moment. That's why we are using present continuous. Okay, so you can figure it out. Whenever you want to communicate something que está pasando, right? Al momento, pues usted dice present continuous. Yes? You go with present continuous siempre que está pasando el uh, action at the moment. Usted está viendo que está sucediendo, right? Yes? <laughs> Oh, Jesus, very good. And the present simple is in general, all the time or sometimes. Yes? Yo creo que de los dos, este es el más complejo, present simple. Yes? Sandra, ayúdeme a leer los examples, please. Thank you. Okay. I work a very day from nine o'clock to five. Five. Uh, five. Thirty. 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 Uh, 30. Yes, very good. Uh, <laughs> Continue. Don't, don't die. I show stays 
a shower, shower. every shower every morning. Very good. It's it's right a lot in the winter. Very good. And and don't I don't, and don't I don't watch television very often. Very good, right? So if you see, this is like things in general. Usted trabaja between this time. Todos los días usted, right? Take a shower. Si no, pero ni rexona, right? Ahí, yeah, right, yeah. So, it rains a lot in winter. See, ¿Sí? right? In winter, pues, pues llueve, right? So, that's, that's, that's why we use the present simple because it's true. It's something that is true. I don't watch television very often, okay? So, I just watch TikToks on myself. That's what I do, okay? So, these are the differences in use between the present continuous and the present simple. Tienen questions about this? Do you have questions about this? Do you have a comment about this? If you want to say something, just tell me. Ask the question so I can um, help you with that. Do you understand? When do we use the present continuous and when do we use the present simple? For example, if I say I work every day, I am talking simple present. That is correct. If I say I'm uh, I am watching TV is present continuous, right? That is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Very good. Thank you so much for giving those examples. Yeah. So this is the way we use it. It's somehow, it looks easy, pues parece fácil, pero créame que ya cuando lo vamos a ocupar en context, sometimes we forget. Yeah, sometimes we forget. And that's why we are going to practice according to the context. Right. Mire. ¿Cómo se llama esto, Sandra? What is this thing? I... I am. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se le llama esto? Verb um, to be. Beautiful, Sandra. That is correct. Very good. So, verb to be. ¿Con cuál vamos a utilizar el verb to be, Sandra? ¿Con present simple or present continuous? For present simple. I'm sorry, continue. that is incorrect. Continue. Oh, yes. Present continue. continuous. Very good. Con present continuous, vamos con el verb to be. Y mire, aquí tenemos do, don, das, Dasen. ¿Esto para qué sirve? ¿Para present continuous o el simple present? Sandra. No, ok, ok, no problem. No problem. That's ok, no problem. Ajá, uh -huh. Betsaida, ¿para qué nos uh, sirve do? Para simple present. Exactly. So, simple present, present continuous. Ok. Yeah. So, let's begin. Excuse me. Do you speak English? Absolutely. Uh, right? What is the number two, Karen? Stephanie Carvajal Rivas. What is the number two? Where's Martha? I am. Oh, I do. I am. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Karen? That is incorrect. Excuse me? Don't. Exactly. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Where's Martha? I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Thank you so much. Very good. But say that, Yasmin. Thank you. Number three. That's so funny. Why do you love, love him? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Are you? Okay, very good. Why are you? Miren, aquí tenemos ING. Yes. Como tenemos ING, como estaba diciendo uh, Brenda. Let me see. No, it's not Brenda, I'm sorry. Sandra. Sandra was saying que vamos a ocupar el verb to be, right? Why are you laughing? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es laughing? <laughs> what is laughing? Mm -hmm. 
Brenda, what is laughing? This one. I don't know. No sé, pero... Oh, very good. Mire cómo contestó Brenda, right? Yes, I don't know. Aquí está la frase que está ocupando Brenda. I don't know. Very good, Brenda. Yes, use the phrases. Little by little, right? Thank you so much. Hector, what is the meaning of laughing? What is laughing, Hector? Mm, Any idea? Is... Laughing, this one here. Ah, uh, laughing. Mm -hmm. uh, riéndose. Exactly, right. Very good. Laughing is reírse, right? So why are you laughing? What's so funny? Why are you laughing? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Juan Carlos, thank you. Number four, Juan Carlos. No, okay. Luis, number four, thank you. Hello, Luis. Uh, what is? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Try another one. Intente otra. Try another one. Yes. Very good. What does, what does your sister do? She's a dentist. ¿Se acuerdan la pregunta que ella cuando es occupations and professions que decimos what do you do? Aquí como es your sister, tengo que utilizar does. What does your sister do? Yes. Third person singular. Do and does. Okay. Thank you so much. Next one is for you, lady. Number five. Um, is uh huh, what's next? Um, do I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Somebody else? I am want to go. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Nice Thanks. try. Somebody else? I do. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Roxana, creo que me está hablando Roxana, pero no le escucho. I'm sorry. I apologize. Escríbame en el chat. Dijo don't. Oh, Roxana yes. Dice don't. That is correct, Roxana. Yes. I don't want to go out in the rain. Mire, aquí combinamos these two. Yes. Is it raining? Yes. I don't want to go out. ¿Por qué? Because it's raining. Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry, Roxana. I don't know what happened, but I don't I don't hear you. Arely, thank you. Number seven. Oh, number uh, six. Where, uh, where are you? I come from. Oh. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Okay. Oh, porque tenemos you aquí. Uh, mm -hmm. Y come. Entonces, Entonces como ser, tengo la, el, el verbo come, you. no puede. Let's say that. Das no sería. Where do you come where, where do. Exactly. Very good. Uh -huh. Arely, usted dijo algo bien importante, right? Porque, mire, utilizamos el verbo to be cuando no hay otro verbo. Por ejemplo, aquí tengo el verbo come. Yes. Uh -huh. Como tengo el verbo come, no puedo utilizar uh -huh. el verbo to be así. No. Por eso le dije, no, that is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Entonces, okay. y como es pregunta, tengo que ocupar uno de estos, right? Tú, ah, das. Exactly. Okay. Very okay. good. Judith, number seven. Hello, Judith, number seven. Um, 
Okay, how much in city? Mm, is how much is it? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Um, do no, no. Okay, somebody help her, please. The Griselda, that is correct. Yes. How much does? Acuérdense que el das va para, mire, terceras personas, right? It. It es tercera persona. How much does it cost? Ahora, one more time. ¿Por qué no es el verb to be? Pues porque tengo el verbo aquí, mire, cost. Cost es un verbo, right? Como es un verbo, pues tengo que poner, no voy a poner el verb to be porque si no, pues no, no, no va yo. Okay. Very good. Thank you. And Ana. Number eight, Anna. Thank you. Um, is. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Um, are. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Mm. Does. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Um, don't. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. So, yeah, do. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> Yo adivinando. <laughs> well, that's it. Es el último que queda, right? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Yo sacándome de la <laughs> Okay. No. Uh, number three, uh, R. Oh, R. yes, R. ¿Qué pasó aquí? Se desapareció, right? <laughs> it disappeared. Yeah. Why are you laughing? Very good. Yes. Igual. Otra vez, right? Sí. Aquí tenemos el verbo play. Yes. Teacher, eso, yes. eso de, de, de quiero que no, este, quizás como que, que no me queda muy claro. Cuando tenemos esos verbos, ¿por qué dice que no podemos usar el, el, el verbo to be? Oh, porque el verbo Pero to be. Pero aparte de eso, hay varios más. Sí, oh, ¿verdad? Sí, eh, eh, I mean, lo que pasa, ¿por qué no puedo ocupar el verbo to be? Porque el verbo to be significa cero estar. Ajá. Sí, ahora sí. este verbo to be no puede ir a la par de otro verbo, ¿no? Right? Play. Play, que es el jugar. Ahora. Sí lo puedo combinar con el present continuous, ¿sí? ¿yes? Aquí sí, porque tengo ing, pero en este no tengo nada de eso. Como no tengo nada de eso, no lo puedo ocupar. Entonces, ahí está el detalle, ¿right? Por ejemplo, aquí tengo otro que es cost. Aquí tengo otro que es want. ¿sí? ¿Yes? Uh, aquí tengo otro que es speak. Aquí tengo otro que es no. Entonces, como tengo esos verbos, sí tengo que ocupar estos que están acá. Porque estos sí van con otros verbos. ¿Y es? Mm. Ahora, el verb to be va siempre con presente continuo. Ahí sí. Por eso dice aquí, why are you laughing? Mm -hmm. Ok. Is it raining? Mire, ing. Ok. Y cuando no lleva el verbo, es que sí lo vamos a acompañar con, con el verbo. ¿Cómo así? Con el verbo to be. O sea, okay. cuando no estuviera ese verbo, sí lo podemos acompañar. No, o sea, el verbo tiene que estar con ing para yo poder ocupar el verbo to be. Um, yes. Ahí está la clave. Esa es la clave. Exacto. La Ahora, clave. si yo tengo un verbo normalito, right, así como este, pues no. Um, yeah, exactly. O sea, que siempre que vayan con ing, tengo que ocupar el, el to be. Exacto, es lo que yo les comentaba y este de con el present mm -hmm. continuous. Si a usted se le olvida el verb to be cuando utilice el present continuous, is run, es incorrecto, right? Entonces, por eso siempre esta cosa va, va junto. Y, es, y por eso les comentaba yo al principio del módulo, cuidado con el verb to be, esa no, cosa. Sí, no. Vaya, is... pero cuando no va acompañado con el ing, podemos usar el presente simple que es aquí. Uh -huh. 
Ah, yes. Okay. Sí. Ahora, acuérdese que el verb to be también puede ir el solo, ¿vale? Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, eh, she is tall. Bien. Yeah. Right. Yes. Puede ir el solito. Ahora, si lo vamos a ocupar con otro verbo, el verbo tiene que fijarse que tiene que ir con ing. Yes, ing. Present continuous. Si no va así, ya no lo va a poner. Right. Yes, porque era padre. Y yes, allá tal. <laughs> okay. No se olvide de los exercises on the platform and no se olvide that tomorrow we have our last class of this beautiful module. Thank you so much for being here. Good night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much, everybody.